In this video, I'll be talking about the electrical systems for general aviation aircraft. I'm going to try and keep it as generic as possible. So what you learn here can be applied to any plane you fly throughout your piloting career. Another note, I'm not going to go into details regarding specific components of the electrical system. I just want you to get a fundamental understanding of the different components and should these videos prove popular i may decide to go into more details regarding the components in different videos okay so first off let's just take a good look at the big picture of your electric system again i'm going to reiterate this throughout many of my videos regarding aircraft systems you want to concern yourself with what's doing the work what provides protection? How do I monitor the health of the system? And in this case, where does all the power end up? Well, in terms of what does the work, on most general aviation aircrafts, there are two sources of energy, the alternator and the battery. Both just convert one form of energy into another, the final form of energy being electric energy. In the case of the alternator, we're converting mechanical energy into electric energy. And in the case of the battery, we're converting chemical energy into electric energy. With all this power being delivered by the alternator or battery, you'll want a way to regulate it so that it remains within the normal operating range. In order to do so, aircrafts are typically equipped with a voltage regulator or alternator control unit. Also, any aircraft certified with an electric system will have circuit breakers on board, whereas voltage regulators and alternator control units typically regulate the alternator's output using some sort of feedback loop, circuit breakers simply remove the potentially malfunctioning component from the circuit, hence the name circuit breakers. If none of that made sense, just remember this. Voltage regulators and alternator control units protect by regulation, whereas circuit breakers protect by expulsion, physically removing a component from the electrical system. The next thing to ask yourself is, what's available to me so that I can adequately monitor the health of the system? Typically, on general aviation aircraft, an ammeter or load meter will be installed along with some sort of visual warning for an over or under voltage situation. I'll leave it up to you as to how your specific airplane provides such indications. The final thing to consider is where does the power end up? In the case of the electrical system, a typical configuration consists of bus bars which act as hubs, which ease the transfer of electric power to the various components. Don't let the diagram here of an archaic Cessna 150 fool you. Even on general aviation aircraft, there may be several sets of bus bars and at times can be quite complicated to interpret. I wouldn't be too concerned regarding the principle of operation of an alternator or battery. More importantly for a pilot is the relationship that exists between the two. An aircraft's only fitted with a battery to provide electric power during startup and in any event the alternator should fail while in flight. It is the duty of the alternator after startup to provide enough power to support the loads placed on the electric system and charge the batteries. 